But first, as the Vyapam scam gets murkier and the opposition demands a CBI probe, Home Minister Rajnath Singh today ruled out a CBI investigation unless the courts ask for it. The scam is currently being investigated by a special task force which is being overseen by a committee that's been appointed by the High Court. The scam involves the mass rigging of exams by the MP exam board, also known as Vyapam. That's for medical colleges and government job recruitments. Vyapam staff and politicians are accused of taking money to manipulate the results. And the accusations go all the way to the top. Jaj ho rahi hai. Yes, IT High Court ne banai hai. Yes, IT Rajya Sarkar ko apni report nahi deti hai jaj se sambandit, balki High Court ko apni report deti hai. Jahan tak CBI jaj ka prasna hai, ek PIL High Court mein, asambhata Supreme Court mein bhi. Dono jagah ki gai thi. High Court or Supreme Court ne CBI ke dwara jaj कराने से पूरी तरह से मना कर दिया था यह कहते हुए कि इस समय हाई कोर्ट के सुपरविजन में ही एसआईटी जांच कर रही है इसलिए सीबीआई जांच का कोई औचित्य नहीं है well, the Vyapam scam has left behind a trail of destruction and blood with a spate of mysterious deaths. The special task force has put the number of dead at 35 over the last few years, many of them dying in road accidents or suicide or sudden illnesses, and many reportedly between the ages of 25 and 30. Barkhadat spoke to one of the whistleblowers today who says that he too fears for his life. ये सारी कोशिश हैं और लगातार इस प्रकार से व्यापम घोटाले से जुड़े लोगों की मौत होने के कारण लगातार इस बात का दर बना रहता है कहीं ना कहीं ये सारी सच्चाई सामने लाने से पहले मेरी हत्या ना करा दिया है व्यापम घोटाले से जुड़े जो नए राज मेरे पास हैं जो सारी जानकारी है मेरे पास है वो सामने आने से पहले मेरी हत्या ना करा दी जाए क्योंकि आपको सच में लगता है कि आपकी जान को खतरा है बिल्कुल मुझे इस बात का लगता है इस बात के बारे में हंड्रेड परसेंट में श्योर हूँ और निश्चित तौर पर सरकार सरकार में बैठे हुए लोग जो इस जांच से जांच से प्रभावित हो रहे हैं जिन तक इन जाँच की आज पहुँचने वाली है चाहे वे मुख्यमंत्री शिवराज सिंह चौहान खुद हों वे सारे लोग इस घोटाले से जुड़े वे सारे लोगों को जो कहीं ना कहीं इस घोटाले को उजागर करने में लगे उनकी हत्या कराना चाहते हैं उन्हें कहीं ऐसे आप 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 ये कैसे कह सकते हैं कि मुख्यमंत्री या कोई और किसी की हत्या कराना चाहते हैं हम हम अभी जानते नहीं है कि किस सर्कमस्टांसिस में ये हत्या हुई है कई लोग कहते हैं कि कुछ सुइसाइड्स भी हो सकती है तो जिस तरह से आप ये बयान देते हैं कि भाई मुख्यमंत्री खुद साथ छुपाना चाहते हैं ये आप जिम्मेदारी से कह सकते हैं ये बात सबूत के बिना कैसे कह बिल्कुल इस बात को मैं जिम्मेदारी पूर्वक कह सकता हूं कि मुख्यमंत्री इस घोटाले में आरोपी हैं मुख्यमंत्री इस घोटाले में शामिल हैं और अगर इस बात की जांच होगी कोई भी जांच एजेंसी इसकी जांच करना चाहे प्रमाणिक तौर पर लेकिन आश्वासन के साथ कि मुख्यमंत्री के विरुद्ध हम जांच करेंगे और समय सीमा में जांच करेंगे तो उसके प्रमाण और उसकी जानकारी हमें उस जांच एजेंसी को अभी तक इस तरह की कोई सबूत नहीं आई अभी तक जो जो लॉ है उन्होंने उनको एक अक्यूज नहीं बनाया अभी आपने जैसे लॉ की बात की तो लॉ के अकॉर्डिंग ही मैं आपको एक उनका क्राइम बता देता हूँ जो अभी लास्ट टाइम मैं स्टेटमेंट देने गया था तो मैंने जज डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट में जज है उनको भी बताया जब मैंने स्टेटमेंट नहीं दिए मैंने कहा मैं मैं चाहता हूं कि मेरी मौत हो पर मौत से पहले अगर मैं मर भी जाऊं तो मरने से पहले हाई प्रोफाइल लोगों के खिलाफ मेरे बयान दर्ज कर लिया उन्होंने कहा हाई प्रोफाइल कौन तो मैंने कहा शिवराज सिंह चौहान वहां से टॉप टू बॉटम मैं शुरू करना चाह रहा था तो बोले शिवराज सिंह चौहान का क्या अपराध है आप शहर में अपनी साइकिल पे जाते हैं साइकिल पे जाते हैं पीछे पीछे आपकी है पीएसओ है वो भी साइकिल हाँ। पे जाते हैं लेकिन आप खुश नहीं है अपनी सिक्योरिटी के साथ ऐसा क्यों क्योंकि पूरा टाइम तो ये आपके आप ब्रिज बोलने के साथ रहते हैं जी पूरे टाइम लेकिन ये कहते हैं थोड़ा तेज बोलिए ना आप पूरे टाइम रहते ये कहते हैं की आप इनके साथ रहते नहीं है साइकिल पे आगे निकल जाते हैं आप पीछे निकल जाते हैं अगर जाम लग जाता है तो अगर आगे निकल जाते हैं ट्रैफिक जाम में आप पीछे रह जाते हैं पीछे रह जाते हैं तो इसलिए निकल कोई गली में निकल गए तो हम रह जाते हैं इसलिए साइकिल से कोई सुरक्षा नहीं हो पाती सही पहला तो मैं एक मैं सुरक्षा खुश होने के लिए नहीं संतुष्ट होने के लिए सुरक्षित महसूस करने के लिए थी तो मैं सुरक्षा से ना तो संतुष्ट हूँ ना ही सुरक्षा से मुझे सुरक्षित महसूस होता है पर ये तो आपके साथ मैं, मैं, मैं वही इनको ये एक जुलाई से मेरे साथ हैं उसके उसमें जितने भी समय साइकिल से मेरे साथ रहे हैं आप इनसे पूछ सकते हैं मुझे कवर किया कि नहीं किया साइकिल कवर करते हैं जितने समय साइकिल से रहे आप अपनी साइकिल पे पीछे जाते हैं पीछे जाता हूँ जितना कवर करता हूँ उतना नहीं 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 आपने कवर किया मुझे कि नहीं करते हैं कि नहीं कल जैसे मेरे साथ गए आप मुझे लगता है पांच मिनट बाद ही आपका मेरा साथ छूट गया टावर लोकेशन आपकी निकाली जा सकती है और मेरी ली जा सकती है पता लग जाए की आप जान के इनके साथ नहीं रहते नहीं ऐसा नहीं है 
Well, the question now is whether it is time for the Supreme Court to step in and monitor a CBI probe. Earlier, both the Supreme Court and the High Court had rejected demands for a CBI probe into this case because there is a special task force that is being overseen by the High Court in Madhya Pradesh uh, for this particular investigation. But much water has flown under the bridge since then and maybe it is time for a relook at this entire case. Dr. Abhishek Singhvi, the spokesperson of the Congress Party and Rajya Sabha MP, joins us tonight. Prashant Bhushan, senior advocate of the Supreme Court. We've got Prashant Pandey, who's one of the original whistleblowers in the Vyapam case, also joining us tonight. We'll be joined by GVL Rao of the BJP and Nirja Chaudhary, senior journalist and commentator here in the studio with us. Let me ask Prashant Bhushan the first question. Mr. Bhushan, one of the arguments that the BJP is giving today and over the last few days is that they cannot ask for a CBI probe because this is a case that is already being monitored by the High Court in Madhya Pradesh. And as Rajnath Singh said today, if the court asks for it, uh, we will do it. Otherwise, we will not. As a lawyer, Mr. Bhushan, does that argument stand or can Shivraj Chauhan still ask for a CBI probe? and approach the court. No, Shivraj Singh Chauhan can certainly ask for a CBI uh, probe. All that he has to do is to inform the High Court and uh, perhaps seek the permission of the High Court, which the High Court will readily give. So far, the High Court did not order a CBI investigation because the state government had not consented to it. And the High Court at that time felt that it was adequate to have a STF being in turn monitored by an SIT, but evidently this arrangement has not worked out as well uh, as, as perhaps the High Court thought. And uh, there is also a problem, you see, we are hearing, uh, we are getting uh, some information to suggest that some of the beneficiaries of this uh, scam are also some uh, protégés of uh, High Court judges. And that is why perhaps the time has come for this, uh, for the Supreme Court to take over the uh, monitoring or the supervision of the investigation and uh, disassociate the STF, which is a state, uh, which is a, a state controlled organization and substitute it with an SIT. Because the CBI in this case also in my view would not be the appropriate agency <coughs> since the CBI is controlled by the central government and the central government and the state government belong to the same political party. That is why we need an SIT to be constituted by the Supreme Court and monitored by the Supreme Court okay. in this case. So you're saying not even the CBI, but it should be a special investigation team that is monitored by the Supreme Court. Dr. Abhishek Singhvi, wearing your lawyer's hat first as well, do you agree with Prashant Bhushan that there is nothing that legally prevents Shivraj Chauhan from writing to the High Court and asking for a CBI probe? Actually, it's just the opposite. It's a bit laughable, the point you just now made, on, uh, as if the, if the BJP were to make it, because just the opposite is the law. Uh, the law is that if the state government objects, the CBI cannot easily be made in charge without the state's consent, unless, of course, Supreme Court orders so mandate. The question which you rightly put would have a ridiculous situation. If the state asks, there is no question of any inhibition or delay in this CBI being appointed, point one. Point two, frankly, uh, Nidhi, I don't think the CBI is sufficient in a case like this. As Prashant rightly said, you see, when the entire state polity has become so infected with this virus, have you ever in the whole world, forget India, forget a state of Madhya Pradesh, found 46 or 45 or 40 plus deaths in regard to one alleged scam Obviously, something is very, very, and I hate to say this, it's, it's tragic, so it should sound comic. It's something very funny is going on if 40 people have died. Now, if the whole system is so affected, uh, you must have an outside element. And a SIT by the Supreme Court is done frequently. There is no reason why it's not done here. Third point, I'll be very brief, one second more, Didi. It has happened earlier. When the entire body politic is found to have possibly a situation of bias, Entire trials were shifted out of Gujarat by the Supreme Court. There are SITs of a kind in 2Gs and 3Gs and other matters. What is the problem in having it? Now, everybody always puts against us the point that the Supreme Court a few months ago, in a matter in which I must disclose I appeared, did not at that stage wish to appoint a refer to the CBI. That was at that stage. And there was no finality to the dismissal of an SLP at that stage. Everybody knows that that is not a final order. 
the supreme court was open to more material the supreme court will have more material and let me tell you that there are more proceedings coming in the near future in the apex court where more material will be brought in so there is no okay so you and, you and prashant bhushan you, 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 you share you share prashant bhushan's view it. that it needs to be an sit it needs to be an independent investigating agency uh, free from political control oh, and and that probably really makes the most sense right now absolutely prashant pande let me come to it's you very mr serious. prashant yeah mr prashant pande is one of the original yes. whistle blowers in the case his he has also he says received threats in the past and you know uh, uh, let you know has, has security let me tell you important thing yeah uh, mr Mr Pandey I just wanted to ask you what is the biggest problem with the special task force Let me and the way it is investigating the, the case important. right now Yeah yeah Mr Pandey yeah. go ahead Basically the origin of the the origin of the entire case is based on the data recovery whatever occurred from the hard disk of the main accused who is inside the jail and i would like to mention one thing very clear that these people whom they are saying that the agency is competent enough to investigate the entire uh, scenario and entire case i would like to mention them and would like to let them know that their agency is that much competent that they do not know how to collect electronic evidence properly they didn't followed the standard and mandatory uh, standard operating procedure by supreme court which is they must have followed the digital evidence act evidence act uh, the collection of evidence act has to be uh, uh, thoroughly collected along with the hash values created at, at the time of seizure itself because whatever they seized is just hardware they never ever seized the uh, data content inside that hard disk so i would like to mention it very clearly that the entire case is based on electronic evidence and the admissibility of that electronic evidence is zero technically in terms of constitution in terms of our law mr pandey let me though ask you about the series of deaths that we're seeing you know there could be some people who have died naturally as well we can't say that each and every person has been murdered here but just look at the statistics we you know have calculated that at least 10 uh, deaths that have taken place have been road accidents that just seems too much of a coincidence five people have allegedly committed suicide two of them are suspected to have heart attacks and one was age 29 one was age 38 i find it i mean i'm sure people at 29 do have heart attacks but again it raises a question mark another four deaths apparently took place because of uh, too much drinking and let and, and me, drugs let, you know when you look you at this more. uh you know are you even surprised that this is happening this seems to have reached extremely chilling proportions as far as one of the another whistle blower who is already a doctor a well qualified doctor hello go ahead mr pandey yes hello hello go ahead mr pandey we can hear you yeah as uh, one of the whistle blower in this case itself dr anand rai i am talking about yes yes i am uh, telling you about dr anand rai had mentioned more than 15 drugs are in existence with the help of these anyone can plan any murder with up to the limit uh, for uh, say they'll uh, dissolve the chemical in the water and it will not be visible at all and the death will occur after 10 days or 12 days depending upon the uh, quantity of the material given so there are number of procedures number of ways other than uh, of killing other than just shooting or just uh, doing what they these people are saying of course there are a lot of connections going on because it is certainly not uh, feasible nor uh, admissible to us that the person who is very well fit is uh, strangely died within a minute or so without any reason and even the post mortem report says they do not know how the person got died and okay. there are number of people like that even i have seen uh, met an accident just before and yeah, it, i i think it's still unable warrants, to understand why the agencies are not able they are even planning to charge cases against me i know I, you know it, at the very least there needs to be an independent probe into how each and every person connected to this yes, case yes, is it, just it is just requires... dropping dead literally let me just get mr gvl rao we're having a trouble we having trouble with his ob so we're just getting him on the phone line mr rao uh, you know how why is the government so reluctant to ask for a cbi probe and now you know prashant bhushan is here 
Uh, okay, I have him on the OB now. Mr. Prashant Bhushan has just pointed out, so has Abhishek Singh, we both as lawyers, that nothing stops Shivraj Johan from writing to the High Court and asking for a CBI probe. And in fact, both of them are saying there should be a Supreme Court monitored SIT looking into this. Mr. Rao, wouldn't it be best for the BJP and for Shivraj Johan to get an SIT uh, constituted by the Supreme Court, not to hold back on this anymore? Ah. Uh. You see, let me read out a couple of sentences for the two esteemed lawyers on your panel and uh, let me have their reactions to this. This is what the Honorable High Court, Jabalpur High Court had stated uh, in 2014. They said, we find that even after the judgment of April 2014, the investigation by STF in all criminal cases is proceeding in the right direction and is being done in a proper manner. This is what the High Court had said. And let me now say last what year. the Honorable Supreme Court had stated in, yeah, yeah, last year. And let me say what the Supreme Court said in the month of November 2014 that in time, response to a petition by Digvijay Singh. Let me finish. Let me, I have not, I have, okay, let ahead, me have my point. say, then you can yeah. come in. Yeah, the Supreme Court had said, we are satisfied. Sorry, sorry. The Supreme Court said, we are satisfied that the High Court has taken all care in monitoring the investigation done by the STF, the Special Task Force, by constituting an SIT headed by a retired High Court judge. So I'm sh I, I think if the esteemed lawyers on the panel, I, I'm sure they have faith in the functioning of uh, the High Court and the Honorable Mr. Supreme Court. Mr. And Rao, both of them I don't have think anyone doubts the courts. In the special task the, nobody force. is doubting the courts, but the question is, look at who the STF is made up of. It's made up of the, of the police, of the Madhya Pradesh police. Do you really believe that the STF is going to be able to conduct a fair probe? And given how so much you know, water has flowed under the bridge since both the Supreme Court and the High Court observations in this case of, of last year, of 2014, this is a much bigger scandal now. Many more people have died since then. Isn't it in Shivraj Chauhan best interest to uh, approach the, the top court or approach the high court and ask for an independent probe. How is it an independent probe if the Madhya no. Pradesh police is probing it? No, I think uh, your assessment is incorrect. I think uh, a large portion of the investigation was conducted before November 2014 and the number of deaths that occurred also. Most of the deaths occurred before November 14. Uh, when the Supreme Court examined the functioning of the STF. And I am sure this is not uh, something unknown to the Honorable Jabalpur High Court and the Supreme Court that, uh, the, sec that the STF comprises of uh, police officers from the Madhya Pradesh government and the court, Jabalpur High Court, had directed, had directed the STF not to, not to report any findings of this investigation to the state government to work completely independently and report to the SIT. So I think of facts that are known to the Jabalpur High Court and Supreme Court, if our, uh, uh, if our political colleagues from other parties are raising questions about, I think you are indirectly, you are actually trying to pass comments on the, on the directions of both the courts. And let me add just one more point. Prashant Pandey, who is on this panel, is not a whistleblower. He is a part of a, of a fraudulent attempt to mislead the Jabalpur High Court and to create a, a, a completely fabricate wrong evidence. He is accused of forgery along with Digvijay Singh and his other political friends. This I am reading from NDTV website. I think I, this is not my creation. Excel evidence I'll get, I'll get presented by Digvijay Singh was forged. I this is your your website. Let, let Mr. Pandey The Excel evidence by Digvijay but Singh was forged. Yes, yes. And this was created by Mr. none other than the so-called whistleblower. So, Mr. Can you Pandey, please show me a single order which claims, the question. sir, this is some. This is my friend. Can you please tell me the exact date of? Uh, recovery of that hard disk. Wo hard disk ka seizer kab hua tha? Aapki competent agency se pooch ke aap ye bata sakte hain. Since I last mean, Nidhi, seven I years, think, think uh, the all those uh, uh, police departments and the rest of the agencies were continually asking for help from this from this criminal. You were you were you were uh, supporting. You were taking support. You were requesting support from a criminal just to uh, catch that terrorist uh, Savdar Nagori or.
the rest of the investigations I had gone through. I, I, I can produce and I, I, I can think, present I the entire stop, records stop wherever lying. I had worked for and I was appreciated this, uh, number of times order. by your own peoples. More than 1500 I'm IPS officers are right. in my touch having testimonials. No, Res, I, you, you know, are misleading the court. Order. Actually, you are the person is, who I, are who are not even explaining the correct order. You have no faith in this is past. This is past, no sir. This is lack court. of information. At no, that time, at that time in 2014, it you was and not DJ established. You and all others. In Let me tell you one thing. Fabrication. Then okay, show you, gentlemen, show this is not where, about Prashant Pandey. This is not about Prashant Pandey, Mr. Rao. This is not about Prashant Pandey. There is an allegation you are making against him. He is refuting that. These are two different things. So don't call him you know, a whistleblower. You know, there is a there is a government that is under right now. I want to understand why these people are taking more attention to me rather than that going on or the going on or the issues there. This is not a personal battle between the two of you. Nidja Chaudhary. It appears that the BJP at the moment has decided to rally around Shivraj Chauhan as well. Is that a risky strategy? It's on the back foot on Vasundra. It's been on the back foot on Sushma Swaraj, there is a bigger political implication to all of this. I think uh, I would say one thing and then go on to what you yeah. ask about the political implication. I don't think there has been a scam since independence of the kind of that Vyapam is. Because you've had huge amounts involved in many scams, lacks, you know, what we heard in 2G, etc. Thousands and thousands of crores. But you've not had killings. This is not a money scam. This is a killer scam. That is the difference and even if all the 46 deaths that we are talking about are natural, why not go into the CBI probing it and come out clean because so much doubt and anger and agitation has been generated by this about what is really going on and it is really in the interest of BJP, Shivraj Chauhan, the central government, all of them to order a CBI probe monitored by the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, as everybody is saying. Now, coming to political implications, it's very strange and curious that uh, the Prime Minister is silent again. And it makes you wonder because, uh, you know, uh, the Lalit Gate rocked this government, it robbed it of its sheen. Now you have another Chief Minister involved, and certainly it has implications for the central government for Prime Minister Modi himself and the question that one cannot help asking since you ask about the political implications you see all the people involved in the scams or uh, the propriety issue or whether it's Vasundra Rajesh in uh, Sindhya whether it's uh, Sushma Swaraj or now Shivraj Chauhan have been in the camp proposed to the Prime Minister Shivraj Chauhan and Sushma Swaraj were contenders for Prime Ministership uh, Vasundra Rajesh is a popular mass leader we all know that their proximity to the Prime Minister has not been there. Therefore, is the Prime Minister by his silence waiting to give them the long rope so that they go on their own? And secondly, does he fear that if action is taken against them at this stage, there could be a ganging up within the party, there could be a kind of a revolt, you cannot call it, yeah. after all the senior leadership is also very unhappy which could have a bearing on the elections in Bihar because the Bihar election is going to be very I think you've tricky. Yeah.